right, welcome to our first episode of Tech Tips and Tricks. We are gonna walk y'all through so many things this year. We know there are a lot of new tech things coming your way. So we are here to help. So today we are gonna be talking about how to set up your parent account for Nutrisize, how to order meals, and how to add special meals like a soy butter sandwich, and then also a couple other things for the Nutrisize app. So let's get started. I'm gonna go to my Nutrisize app. On your first screen, you'll see all the options for the grades. However, the first thing we're going to do is create your parent account. I'm going to click the three lines in the top right hand corner. I'm going to click log in and I'm going to then click create an account. I'm a parent. I will type in my student's name. So I'm going to put Bernie. Test. Bernie does not have any special allergies, but this would be a good place for you to put in if your kiddo is gluten free or can't have dairy. And then for teacher, I'm going to put first grade with Miss Cuban. And I'm also going to add another student, so I'm going to do Bernie Jr. Still a test. This Bernie Jr., we will say no gluten and for teacher we will do jk3 my old stomping grounds with miss talmage so now that i have added both of my students i'm going to hit next and i'll put in my name and my email address and now i will create a password and so your password has to be a minimum of 10 characters and one special character so now i'm going to hit finish so now we've created our parent account, let's go ahead and order lunch for next week. If you aren't already logged in, you can click the top right hand three lines again to type in your email and your password. After you've logged in, you will see your account page. So I'm just going to close this page by hitting the X on the right hand side. Now you will see the options for all of the classes. And so since I picked first grade Miss Kubin, I'm going to click that class first. I'm going to click Wednesday, August 12th, because obviously there aren't lunches this week because it's faculty and service. So after I click Wednesday, I'll be able to click the 17th. I will click lower school lunch. And now you will see all of the options for your meal on Monday, August 17th. And I want to remind y'all that for the first couple of weeks of school, we are doing a simplified menu just so we can all get the hang of it. And once we have this app figured out, we will add other items just a note. One thing that will really help Chef Aaron is if we order from top to bottom. So I see my options for sandwiches. I would like the turkey cheddar white wrap. So I'm going to click the plus sign on the right hand side, which will then turn into a check mark with a blue dot, knowing that I've added it to my cart. You don't need to add sides. All of the sides will come with your meal. However, if I wanted something else from the daily offerings you can see all the options if you click the down arrow and you will type in those options later on after i've added my sandwich to the cart for monday i'm going to click the double arrows on the right of monday august 17th to see the options for tuesday august 18th and you'll do the same thing i will just click the plus button to add an item to my cart Remember to be ordering from top to bottom for Chef Aaron. Even though I have two kiddos set up in this program, I have to check out with my first grade meal before I can begin to order my JK3 meal. I will click the shopping bag icon on the top bar, which will show me all of the orders that I have placed. So if you happen to double click an item, this is where you could delete. You can't delete an item from the bar where you see all of the other options, you have to delete it from your cart. After I have checked to make sure I have something in my cart for every day of the week, I will hit check out. I will select who this order is for. So this one's for Bernie Saint. And for delivery, I will put lower school classroom delivery. It will ask if you want this to be applied for all of your orders and you click yes. And then you can double check, 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 scroll down. And at the end, you can double check that it's first grade for Ms. Kubin's class. I see my name and my email, and then I see the order type. And then you just put 
in first grade Cuban for the lower school. And this is where I would add if I wanted a soy butter sandwich or any special dressing for my salad. And then I click submit order. Ta-da! You should also receive an email confirmation every time you place an order. It says, thank you for your order. Your order has been submitted. Woo! -hoo. Now to order for my second kiddo, I will click the home button and I will scroll to junior kindergarten three because that is where Bernie Jr. is. After I'm in JK3, I'll repeat the same thing. I will click Wednesday, August 12th to then get to the 17th. I will add a sandwich and some beverage. I will go to Tuesday. And now I'm gonna show you what it'll look like if you accidentally select two items. I will click turkey cheddar on white bread and a grilled chicken Caesar wrap, which I'm gonna click both of these options to show you how you can delete something from your cart if you don't want it. So I've ordered something for every day of the week. I will then again go to my shopping bag icon and you can see on Tuesday that I have selected two items. So now I'm going to click the trash can on the right hand side and it will double check that I want to remove the item from my cart. And I'll click yes and then it's all fixed. You can't delete something from the place where you add it. You have to delete it from your cart. That's it, it's that easy. So just a couple reminders, set up your parent account as soon as you can so you can get your orders in for next week. If you need to add multiple students, there's a way to do that while you're setting up your parent account. Please make your orders from top to bottom, so start with the main entree and make your way down. If you need a soy butter sandwich or a gluten-free tortilla or a special dressing, you may add those in the checkout window under the special instructions. And that's it. Please let me know if you have any questions. My email is cawood at esnoxville.org. Thanks.